Hi guys, welcome to our Daily Encounter. Today we read about Moses receiving instructions in connection to the altar of incense. And it's one of the last things that he receives instructions on in connection to the tabernacle in this portion. And if you're doing an aerial view of the tabernacle, you would see that the altar of incense was right there in the middle of it all. Uh, it was right in front of the veil of the Holy of Holies. It was in the holy place. In the same area where the lampstand and the, the table of showbread was. And this would be the place that the priests would go in uh, and light the incense. And, and the smoke would rise up before God, before the Holy of Holies. And they would use the fire from the altar, the bronze altar on the outside. And take that fire into the holy place, light the incense. And the incense, of course, would then... Uh, cause this aroma, this smoke to rise before God. And as we go into the New Testament, we find, and even in the book of Psalms, it's, a, it's alluded to, but maybe most poignantly, in the book of Revelations, we find that the incense actually symbolizes prayer. In Revelation chapter 5, uh, here you have a picture of what's going on in heaven. It says the uh, 24 elders fell down before the Lamb, each holding a harp and a golden bowls and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And so there we can see incense connected to prayer. And it's no surprise that this altar that would be a symbol of prayer would be at the center of the tabernacle. And as we reflect on our own lives, it ought to be that prayer is at the center of it all. That our prayers are what really ties it all together. Why do we read the Bible? Why do we uh, go to church? Why do we do this? Why do we, why do we do that? Well, it's all tied together and bound together through prayer and our relationship with the Lord. And so as we do our daily reading, our daily reading becomes the fuel for our prayers, uh, to inspire our prayers, to motivate us to prayer. Uh, but it's so that we can cultivate a relationship with God. Our, our worship, our our service to the Lord, all of it should be bound in prayer, done in submission to the Lord, bringing everything to Him, uh, submitting ourselves to Him in prayer, uh, offering up thanksgiving to Him in prayer, making petitions of Him in prayer. Uh, prayer is the means by which we directly contact God. Uh, the other things that we do oftentimes just are indirect, things that we do for the Lord. Uh, but prayer is the one thing that we do that where we can directly contact God, that and worship. And when our prayers are filled with worship, uh, we bring those two things together. But uh, prayer should be at the center of all that we do. And be it should become a major part of our spiritual walk. Uh, it's very easy for us to neglect prayer. It's very easy for us to do our daily reading and then go about our daily business and forget to contact the very God that we read about earlier. Uh, this shouldn't be. We should be praying to the Lord continuously, continually. As the, the smoke from the incense would rise before God, our prayers should just continually rise before the Lord all throughout the day. As long as our eyes are open, we should be praying. As long as we're breathing, we should be breathing prayers to the Lord. And the fuel for our prayers can also come from the sacrifice of Christ. And, and, and the, the means by which we pray comes from the sacrifice of Christ. Just as they took the fire that was from the bronze altar on the outside and used that to light up the incense, so is the sacrifice of Christ. Of course, the altar, the bronze altar on the outside where the sacrifices took place is symbolic of the sacrifice of Christ and the cross of Christ. And it's through the cross of Christ that we have access to God and we can contact God directly in prayer. And so the cross, the sacrifice of Christ is the means by which we approach this holy God. And we ought to approach this holy God through the means uh, made for us and prepared for us through Jesus Christ and his atoning sacrifice. So today, let's be people of prayer. Uh, let's dedicate ourselves to prayer. I know this group is a lot about uh, getting into God's Word and doing a daily reading, but let's not also, or let's not neglect prayer and leave that out. 
Of course, that should be a major part of our spiritual life, and it's the means by which we can really draw close to the God that we read about in the scriptures uh, and really have a relationship, a personal relationship with him. We can share our lives with him. We can share everything with him uh, through prayer. So with that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. I hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.